Oh uh, yeah, Laurel Barb. probably feels like shit. I mean, he probably knows, you know. I'm not saying he was responsible, but he probably feels responsible, you know? No, 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 he, he couldn't feel anything. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, true, true. <laughs> How can he feel Wait, responsible? Wait, whoa, whoa, did you see what Yadro just did? Holy shit. What do you do? He just fucking didn't handshake, he just walked away. And everybody else in his team handshake, he just walked oh, away. No. Oh, my Yadro. Oh, Yadro, bro. Oh, I don't know, no. bro. He just walked away, dude, the entire team handshake. I'll give him the I benefit mean, of the doubt that he forgot, but I don't know. No, he's just emotional, like, it just... Yeah. Just wanna get out of there. Oh, he's oh. still... Giga tilted, I guess. They have played more games at this tournament than any other team. They started in the upper bracket, went to three series. They went down lower bracket, beat LGD, went to three series. They're doing it again here, and it's collapsed Magnus that yeah. they put all their hopes on. TB will get in power later on as well, and this hero can quite easily carry this game. Yeah, it's a really scary set of events but yeah there we go move on in arrow the stomp the two supports go in for an easy kill still pushing underneath this tower here and getting some denies right in the face of 23 oh, savage oh it is a massacre <laughs> it is a massacre they're both gone mira finding them and now the arrow but collapse skewer pulls him pretty far away does have shockwave still finds the kill onto ollie mira still hanging on to that fairy fire she's fine Q's what here. a rotation, and well, Q does manage to place a really good shards. Collapse, now in some more trouble. He will have a slowdown with the Shockwave, but can he get away in time? With the boots, he's moving pretty fast. They jump forward, don't find a bash, do get the snowball hit, but Skewer back up in a second, can't get away. They got the bash. It's things looking very solid. You're taking a look at the net worth. All three of them inhabited of the top uh, by the side of Team Spirit, and a Skewer back with the Avalanche, the toss Laurel making the move and finding the kill. Okay, that's a bigger kill if they can get it. 23 Savage. Oh! He dodged it! What a dodge! 23 gets away, the skewer pulls him back, so they don't really have the control, but they jump in, Star Storm, Ava toss, does he have enough damage? She's trying to get away! One second! The time walk was not there. I mean, they're pressuring the mid lane as well for Yatoro, so... I feel like I've seen a story before. Oh, Yatoro might be in trouble here. Yeah, they TP in with everybody, and with the tag team, it's more than enough damage. Yatoro going to drop! Makoto is having a similar issue that Laurel had in game number one, is like finding a way to make this Ember rotations. Well, Laurel, he throws out the avalanche, runs through away from the shards. The snowball will be there for the chase down. And Maposhka trying to do what he can to try and kill off that tower. But now they're fully going to wrap around Maposhka. Still trying to run out. Does he have enough to stay alive? Arrow gets thrown, connects onto the silencer underneath the tower. So no global yet. But uh, after they kill off Maposhka, Collapse makes the rotation in, and it looks like that should be the extent of it. Slow down, has RP still, but won't go for it. With Arcane Boots, he is very farmed. Yeah, Magnus is having a good game, but can he get stuff done with that is one of the questions. The wraparound's coming, but they spot him, will find and kill off the Silencer, and this should be the Tier 1 tower finally taken. As Man, this is scary timing for Talon because you got your Blink Daggers online. Like, Tiny's coming very soon. Mag is already online, and they're going to try and make something happen with it. Snowball out. Moving in. Global there. Mag looking for an angle. Wants to find him. Makoto, he's off in the trees. Will try and hunt that man down, but instead they turn their sights on. 23 Savage drops the Chrono just to escape. With multiple heroes, it looks like they want to make something happen with Ember. Jumps in. Get him. RP caught dead. All it takes is a second. Life near timing for jabs here could be what they're looking for finding the atos mira connection fish punch for the kill now runs away but collapse he finds both of them can he get a skewer angle tries to find him chrono down hits on to three the damage is not there but they do keep a couple alive for a little bit jabs just ends up falling 23 savage he's got to get the hell out of there ollie trying to escape and will be enchanted and killed off to boot so everybody else tries to get away, and Maposhka going to come try and contest this as well. They yep. do and see the that there's flying. a sentry ward. Getting lower and lower. Wrath of Nature out. Makoto wants to step forward. The Remnant in and out and finds him immediately down. Snowball afterwards. Good damage through and snatches the Aegis as Yadaro. It is more than enough now for Spirit. They get the kill on Roche, but it's Spirit that get the big kill. Face of the Void is the best late game carry in the game. He will out carry this terribly mm. to a point. Well, they will find a couple quick kills here, and now 
Snowball used. It was a one-for-one one already, and Q likely to fall as the chase is there. Nowhere left lane. to go for the Tusk. What can they do here? Oh, okay. Natoro having the Scotty done is definitely in the uh, strongest hero in the game right now. But Laurel, he gets found there, jumps in, Chrono used, trying to kill off this tiny, the arrow from downtown, they get the finish. So Laurel will drop, but no Chrono. Let's see what Team Spirit want to do with this. This looks like it's going to be a five smoke. And no vision scouting this. Rune immediately finds him. Avatar. Nobody gets the BKB off. And now the turn. They're able to get away. The global used. Now can they go for any more? Remnant threw tons of damage. Talon suddenly blow him up. Mag is gone. And, well, they're completely Adoro. isolated. Yadaro turns, wants to fight now onto Jabs. Does he have enough? The turn from Aposhka. A couple more hits. And they bring him down. Snowball forward. But the Sunder keeps alive that Terrorblade. They bought back on Marana to ensure that that went well. Yatoro's just way too farmed right now. And he's going to use that meta just to go high ground, but there's Chrono. Jumps in. Makoto's there, trying to burn through him. They already used Sunder earlier. Do they have enough damage to fly here? Meta, he pops, and he explodes! He had nothing! Can they kill off Yadro? They will bring him down, but still, so much damage out. Laura will fall. Talon, they take a good fight turn there, and it costs a couple buybacks, but well worth it to kill off that terribly. Maybe they'll go for a pickoff first. Talon, they show one. He's there for a moment. 23 Savage, Avalanche, RP! On to two, they catch them both! They're all gonna die! Talon, they lose their key heroes! And now, Team Spirit ready to stream down a lane if they want. They toss in Yadro, find that kill. What a huge win! Looks to the side, they're having trouble finding their way into this fight, and it looks like it's going to be the Aegis in hand for Yadro. A little bit too slow on Talon to make the move, and now Jabs, he TP'd into this. He's brought the himself. BKB looking for the fight. He's doing some pretty good damage right there. Gleipnir, Manta walks away, but the Walrus Punch, the control, it comes out. They still have that Quinnel, almost blows up. The 23 Savage Faceless Void as they all try and back away. Everybody still alive and jumps in, jumps out, trying to bait something out. Can they kill him? I don't know if they have the damage anymore. They get the Sunder. They move in, and that's the Chrono Drop, but do they have the damage? They need to kill these heroes off. They're focusing Mira. They know they can't deal with Yadaro. He has that Aegis as well, trying to kill off the rest of them. Jabs doing what damage he can, but the Demon Zeal, and well, the time dilation. Jabs is killing himself, tries to walk away. Sprout, but no. Collapse, ends his life. And Team Spirit, it's still a weird and wonky trade because Laurel went down also. They will manage to TP out with one. Makoto, he remnants away. Have a Walrus Punch with the Blink to try and control Yadaro. Thinking about going, pops the meta, but the pullback collapse has him. Snowball's going to be there, dodges a lot of that damage. Aghanim still at the ready from this Ember. Remnants through, some good damage there. Connects for the moment, the RP able to dodge that one. Makoto, he's got to do so much, he's got to do everything. Finds collapse, goes for the kill. But at this point, Ember, he's in very far with no more remnants. Pops that BKB, tries to get away. The Scotty slowdown, but there's the chains and the walk away. And look at him, Yutoro, he's so low but throws out the Sunder and that keeps them alive. Trying to decide if they want to make some type of a move. There is still no 23 Savage yet. He is still farming out the jungle. So it looks like this has been a calculated decision yep. by Talon just to give up that lane of racks. Do they want to go for anything? Maposhka's going for the wraparound, gets a ward for themselves. Still a minute till Roche oh, is capable of respawning, but they find him right away. Miss on the arrow, pops the BKB, tries to get away. Makoto goes in, does some good damage onto one. Collapse, but there it is, the Chrono down. Do they have enough damage? The Terabyte, he's starting to drop. The Illusion out, it's going to kill him off. Just like that, they find Yadaro, get the kill. Laurel, the fall. They look for Mira, look for more. They're finding everything. Talon, they take down three. Poshka wants to step foot forward here, trying to deward some of this stuff. Ollie's there. They take away the OBS, but the pullback, and they find him. So a good way to start this fight. Makoto, he shows up. He can't be out. Global to try and go for the disengage. 23 Savage waiting to the side, looking. Smoke. They see it. They see the smoke. 
Oh, Spirit, they know exactly where they are. Ollie breaks his smoke there. The Moonlight Shadow's going out. 23 Savage shows for a moment, but they find him and then eternally turns away. This ain't TR10 anymore. That is not a stun. <laughs> 23 Savage looking for an opening. Laurel's off to the side, but they see him. Yadro, he's caught the chrono again. They got their man. Can they bring him down in time? They can. Talon finding another one, but immediately they buy back now on this Terra Blade. Hera, he's in a snowball now himself. The rest of Talon trying to back away. The arrow goes out, and Ember very, very low. He's going to go down. They connect again. Mira trying to get away. TP's out. We'll end up falling. But they're in pretty far, and now the Terra Blade showing up. Can he do this ball on Olo? He doesn't have anything! In a ton of trouble, Yadro! He has nothing! Dead for a hundred seconds! And the path is clear, Talon, they're looking at Roche. 8,000 gold lead, but more importantly, no Terra Blade for 70 seconds. Well, and Nokoto, gets caught. they find their man, jabs there right with them as the Enchantress is going to be brought very, very low. Does get Moonlight Shadow to try and escape. Action. Full HP, still vision onto him, and eventually they kill off the deer. I mean, Ench is gone for 50. The more important one is Terra Blade back up in 20 seconds. Can Talon get a couple sets of racks? Collapse looking. They have BKB again ready. They pull him back in. The Abba, the toss, the control. He's down low and dead. They get him once. Can they do it again, though? I mean, Tier 3 Tower still being hit. Terra Blade a couple seconds away, but that was the Aegis. Yeah, I mean, they got the Aegis. He has no buyback, actually, on 23 as well. This could be really big for them. It's all about initiation at this point. Jabs caught. Abba toss reveals himself for a moment. Arrow out. Able to dodge that one, though. Can they bring down Laurel? Yes, indeed. He is going to die. And can they find any more? Yadaro. They see under Yatoro. fire, keeping him there. But the Hex looking for a turn. Do they have the control after the Hex comes out? No. 23 Savage is coming their direction. But Collapse off to the side, too. They don't want to commit this Chrono unless they know they can get that kill. And Collapse will skewer away. The TP in, BKB. Do they drop it right there? Looking for a back. They find the back. And Collapse, the mag, is brought down, too. They've been waiting this entire time. Solo smoked right now with the ninja gear on collapse, looking for a moment, looking for an opening. Who do they see? A couple heroes together. He has to find 23 Savage. No, he catches onto a couple of them. Avatar starting to kill him off, doing a ton of damage, and it's two already gone. Makoto backing away, jabs, trying to escape. They go for the TP out. The skewer through, gets vision, but not enough for the kill. Nonetheless. A big fight win, and Ali now also in trouble with 23 Savage dead. He does manage to get away. 23 Savage, before he got his BKB off, went directly into Yatoro's Hex, and that's what that needs to happen. Finds him! Jab, he got his health cooking here. Jab's in trouble, throws out the Avalanche, the Aghanim's damage, very strong. He's still in this. Somebody buy a buy detection? And they're going to get him. All right. They find and kill. Look at the gold! <laughs> This is everything. This is Aghanim's. This is Refresher Shard. This is going to be a huge turnaround, but Makoto walks in, collapse right there. The stun comes out. The control. Do they have the damage that they need, though? A couple more hits onto Japs. Japs does not have buyback. They throw out the tree volley. Japs down low and die back for him. But they're trying to move in with the rest of them. They throw out the damage. We'll kill off Laurel and no buyback on the tiny either. They throw out the he arrow got hit by and sees it. Arrow there, snowball immediately. They're trying to break those blink daggers. The snowball connects now under Roche, collapse, sees his target for just a moment. Yadaro, they're waiting, they're waiting, looking for that moment. Another arrow goes in, able to dodge him with the RP. Aeon disc immediately, collapse, he goes in, he gets him again. The Kuno, they try and turn it. Do they have the damage? That's almost dead. It's there. They have more than enough. Give him another chrono. Collapse will fall. And Talon. They come out ahead. Jabs is still dead for a minute. 23 Savage played that brilliantly. Holy moly. Refresh A on disc. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Oh, oh. Poshka, he gets caught by a random arrow again on Makoto. But Yadro wants to move in. Finds him. Okay, dead onto one. Can they do any more? Do they have another big control element? 23 Savage, on the back. he's not in this fight. Makoto. They turn on to him, Demon Zeal, Snowball forward, tries to connect, Manta to get away, but the kick pushes him back in. And there's the Sunder to turn to fight. Do they have the damage that they need? They walk forward, finding him, Yaro, he's so strong! He's so strong, they buy back now Makoto, but 23 Savage, he shows up, he's got the damage no that they buyback. need, and no buyback, terribly gone. Talon, they might have finally done it, as they're ready to run him on down, they have a couple more buybacks. 
but with the Tiny, with the Murata, I don't think that they have the juice. Talon is way too strong. Almost 40,000 net worth lead as they set their sights onto the Tier 4 Towers, onto the Ancient. They pop the clip, but there is nothing left. Talon are going to win this game. They're going to eliminate Team Spirit. And that's it. The, the game is just over as Talon are going to just take this game away on the back at 23-7, making it to that ultra late game on the Faceless Void. Absolutely amazing game for Talon.